So once my landlord gave me the okay to build something in the backyard, I instantly knew that I wanted I wanted this go round to be bigger and better than anything that we had done with the SBWF material. So we started putting this ring together. We went with the old tried and true design, man. Tires, pallets, and OSB, buddy. It worked for two years, try it again. But this time I think we got some more tires, uh, some more pallets, uh, like we kind of refined the design a little bit. My landlord liked to put some things together and so we were talking about, you know, the old ring or the old platform and said, you know, we'd really love to have some ring posts, some ring ropes, really make this thing look as best we can in the way that it should. And so he suggested even, you know, cementing these, you know, posts into the ground. So now, not only is he letting us build the thing, he's letting us cement posts in his backyard. If my landlord wouldn't have agreed to all of these different things, this never would have happened. We got some ropes. We actually had ring ropes this time. And I remember me, Dwayne, and Nick having a long conversation, uh, like multiple nights, I think, this went on, of exactly how we were going to build the ring and how to do the ropes and, you know, everything like that. And this is not like anything we ever had before. This, this thing was built on ideas of the past with upgrades and a futuristic plan. Um, and for the first time, in wrestling, it was developed with ropes, uh, and that was sweet. Yeah, we got ropes this time. They're beautiful. They're lovely. They're black, and, and, and they spring. Yeah. yeah. Now we had another platform. We had the ring ropes, the ri so the, the ring posts and the ring ropes. And so we really felt that with, with this setup, with this ring setup, the sky was the limit. We could really do something now. And we had a new ring. And so I went and, and spent some more money and got yet another camera, a newer camera, so that you know we could try to have even better quality than what we did before with the SBWF stuff. So I wanted it to look good. I wanted the production to look good. It, you know, so the the new ring, which allowed us to do a lot more things that we ever could before. You know, a new camera. You know, and on top of that, we wanted we wanted a new name. Uh, it was decided that the old SBWF, that Suicidal Backyard Wrestling Federation name, was old and outdated. It didn't age well, we didn't really care for it, so we decided to rename the entire product and became known as the XWF, which stood for the Extreme Wrestling Federation. So after doing these things, building this ring, renaming the product, a new camera, we built a um, like a little entrance way on top of that, which we never had before. We had the entrance closet, which, you know, that thing was awesome. And so we were set to put on our very first show on April 11th of 2010. And I couldn't ask for much better of a show than what we did. It's like all three of us, me, Nick and Daniel was just three of us again, just like it was in the old days. The Three Musketeers were back, and we put on some really good matches. The characters really looked good. The matches that we put together with, you know, and on this new ring setup, we, we were able to do some more stuff that we ever could before. The show flowed very well. We'd go out, we do our we do our matches. We'd usually have like four or five. You know, because we brought back a lot of the old characters and stuff. Kind of just picked up where we left off. But because of the ropes and, and all that stuff. And really, at this time, because when we lived at home, there were certain things we couldn't say. There were certain things we couldn't do. You know, our parents only let us do so much in that regard. So we were on our own at this point, you know. So, like, all of these limitations were gone. Now. That made me feel so good. The whole thing, I was able to see it in a very short time, kind of rise from the ashes a couple years after the fact that it had died off into a new and improved, evolved version. And it, is, and it was better than anything. Instantly, that first show was instantly better than anything else that we had ever done. It was better than anything we had done to that point. And that, that's one of the coolest things about what we've done is that every time we come back to doing it, we do it just that little bit better. 
It's that little bit more, that little bit extra that makes it that much sweeter. As soon as that show was over, I was on cloud nine. I felt alive. It was just unfortunate that we never would have known how the XWF was going to turn out based on that first show because that first show was so good. Unfortunately, it just couldn't last.